everyone, I decided that I was going to re-record this tutorial because I realized after looking at the last video that it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. It wasn't capturing all the things I was doing because of the selection that I had made in OBS. I'm going to show you how to take a piece of Sims 4 CC an accessory specifically and transform it into a body detail instead. It's gonna need Sims 4 Studio. There's a link in the description if you don't already have it. You will need to register, but it's a completely free form based for whatever site you lots of tutorials on there for you to figure out how to create other content as well. I did this because I was tired of having special sims end up without their special details when they were changing clothes or in the shower. This time I'm using for my example these wonderful fairy wings that I found over at John Sims who has a lot of excellent CC if you're interested. They have tons and tons of different things on their site. I have used a lot of it and it's all great quality. The quickest way to get access to the details you need is to simply double click on the CC file itself. Pop it right open in a new window when I can close this one now. And you will find all the details that are pertinent. Texture details, thumbnails, all of various colors. These are really pretty by the way. I haven't looked at them in game yet because I literally downloaded them downloaded them for this tutorial. In order to set this as a body detail rather than an accessory, you come over here to outfit type. It says hat currently, which is how this is designated at the moment. You select that and you scroll down to, there are various categories, but I always use either one of these skin details. There are lots of options. I typically use forehead because there aren't a lot of things on the forehead for the Sims right now as far as I'm aware. But you're welcome to select a different category if it works better for you. You want to make sure you click apply to all swatches because otherwise it will only do this for one color, which is whatever you have selected up here. Next, make sure that you have it set for the correct age and gender flags, which is in this case, young adult, teen and adult females and elders. Only select this if you want this item to apply specifically to a specific occult sim. Since there are no fairy type sims in the game at this point, I leave that as human. I don't believe outfit type matters when it's a skin detail. I don't tend to mess with this for this purpose here. Now. You can choose to allow for random or not, it's entirely up to you. Personally, I don't want this to go to randoms, so I'll uncheck that and apply the swatches again. Now, this will, once you've got in the game and put it on a sim, will remain if the sim is naked or changes their clothes or pops in the shower or whatever they're doing, they will maintain these wings. It's a very important detail that I want to remind you of. When you're using this process to edit a piece of CC for your own personal use, do not upload said CC without the author's original creator's express permission anywhere. This is rude and incorrect behavior and etiquette and is what is considered a dick move. Don't do it, it's not cool. What I always do is simply add to the beginning of the file and name a very simple note that I edited this as a skin detail and that's it that tells me I changed it 
what it is, and it leaves the original author, I say author, but I mean creator, you get what I mean, right? Everything else stays exactly as it is, I just stick my creator name and what I've done to it on the front of the file. That's it. That's the only thing I do. I just save that, and that's done. And then we close out of here, and I will be back to show you the results in game. Alright, back here with my little, little, little sibling question. As you can see, he's all set. Let's go ahead and get her in the game. I didn't, even, didn't notice the bracelet. Oh well, it's fine. Not a big deal. Should we put her? I don't know why I always have such a hard time figuring that part out. Ignore that. That's for a mod. Okay. Now, as you can see here, the wings look quite nice in the game. However, I did notice that it has... What is with that outline? Okay, that's weird. I don't know what's going on there. But, uh... That outline is probably why it picks up weird textures from certain clothing items. So just be careful if you're going to use these, what you dress your sim in. Because they might look a bit weird. That's their outline. Not sure why the outline isn't clipped to the wings themselves, but it is what it is. Now, the whole point of this was to show you her wings will stay on no matter what, right? So we're going to go over here, have her take a shower. Okay, that outline's really going to bug me. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that too. Voila! Naked Sim, sorry, in the shower with her wings still in place. And that's it. That's how it's done. That's how you take an accessory item and turn it into a body part for your Sims. But keep in mind, if you want to add these to a younger Sim, or when the Sim ages up, you're going to have to... either use a mod or a cheat to enter into uh, full edit mode and cast and re-give them back their wings or horns or whatever body part it is that you, that you downloaded to add to them. Otherwise, when they age up, they'll lose those details. Just keep, just keep that in mind. Ah, that's it for this little tutorial here. Uh, someone asked me in the comments of the first upload of this if it was possible to turn clothing into an accessory item. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm guessing it's probably just the same process I showed you here. But I'm going to look into that a little bit deeper and I'll get back to you. Huh, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.